My name is Marco Slavnich and this is uh, Aaron Alexander and I'm the writer and director of Grey and Aaron is uh, one of the leads in the film. I kind of, I have this feel that like people do really bad things in the world but I have this like hope that as individuals we're good people and so I kind of wanted to, uh, kind of wanted to illustrate that in a short film. An individual is put into a situation that kind of questions his morals and what he's believed, what he's been taught to believe, and he ultimately chooses to do, to do the right thing. Um, well, um, going into the process, Marco had already set up to um, what the history of my character was and why I was in the situation. As a director, he just told me, okay, it's a deal gone bad. And he just let me run with that with the um, fellow actors that I was screaming with at the very beginning who ended up shooting me. Um, but you can hear like a little snippet of what we're saying if you really listen closely and it really is my character just saying I'm, I'm the best at what I do, really cocky, arrogant, and then next thing you know, boom, gets shot. And so it puts him in a position of being completely helpless. And then um, Will, the other actor who shows up, this is my character, has to take the arrogance and cockiness and place, literally place his life in someone else's hands. Well, there's no right way to make a film, and you know, some films are very kind of organic and just present, or like a snapshot of, of, of life or reality, but mine, when I do my shorts, I try to write a script that has a really strong beginning, middle, and end, uh, because it's such a short film, you don't really have time for character development or any sort of complex plot. I like to do shorts that have, you know, a clear setup, and then the end is usually some sort of twist or something that's uh, revealed. Um, so I guess that's why, you know, some people say it's a twist ending, but really I just kind of like, you know, like to have a beginning, middle, and end, because, like I said, it's too short to do much more with it. The short films that I remember watching when I was kind of growing up and going to school, when they have like this reveal or twist at the end where you're like, oh man, I didn't even see that coming, like it's just, I, I don't know, it's, uh, I kind of like being fooled like that, like audience member, so I guess I try to do the same uh, when I make my films. I'm currently trying to uh, do a feature, feature film, so I've done shorts for a couple of years, I feel like I've built up a good resume and kind of got my feet wet a little bit, I feel like I'm going to try to take it to the next level. Well, best of luck to you guys, and thank, thank you so you. much for the interview.